Hello everyone and welcome to the third edition of the My Thoughts series. This is the basically the series where I talk about anything that's on my mind during the week or just any random subjects that I want to talk about other than design work. Today I'm talking about Instagram again, but the changes towards it. Now you probably have seen on your news feed everyone telling you to go ahead and turn on notifications for your favorite uh, Instagram profiles that you want to keep looking at and stuff and you know I saw hundreds of them and I felt like I needed to unfollow every single person who did that because there was just so many people doing it that it was just ridiculous. But Instagram's timeline algorithm has changed and some people don't like it, some people don't mind it, but who actually loves it? Now okay so let's talk about the what, why, and whatever that is. So the Instagram timeline has changed the algorithm so that you view the best pictures, best pictures first on your timeline. So basically Instagram's algorithm or this computer software is working out which pictures you like the most that you would probably like to see the most and they're putting it first on your timeline. So no longer is it really chronological. I mean that in the sense of every picture is not just chronologically ordered apparently. Instagram said on one of the blog posts that the average user doesn't even look at 70% of the actual feed. They look at the first 30% and they normally change app after looking at it. I'd like to know why and how they know that. that that's strange how they know stuff like that. But for people like me who follow uh, a lot of creative profiles, I think this change is very welcome. So the actual change to Instagram really is that you're seeing apparently the best pictures first, but people have a problem with this. One, because it's changed and people don't like change. Two, because they feel like Instagram are forcing you to see certain posts. And three, people feel like the smaller channels, not channels, but the smaller profiles with less followers and less likes are going to be drowned out by the bigger channels or the bigger profiles with more likes and more pictures and stuff like that. So in conclusion to the new Instagram algorithm change is I don't think it's changed that much. I haven't seen that much of a change. I think people were scared for no reason. People don't like change. That's just a fact I think we found online. People just don't like change. Um, we can change that. We need to change ourselves. If you want to be the change, you've got to like change. If you're worried about getting less followers now because of that, then I, I just I wouldn't worry. It's absolutely fine. Um, we'll we'll get followers still, and I don't think there is any re real need to worry about stuff like that. If you just keep putting out good work, you still will get the followers. Thank you so much for watching this My Thoughts video. It's a different series. I know some of you guys don't like watching it. Some of you do. Uh, and I just wanted to personally thank everyone who does like watching these videos. I have a new font that has just been released and it's on my website and on Creative Market. So go click on the links in the description below to go buy that new font. It's very cheap. You also get Woodland font with it uh, included in the download when you buy it. So it's really nice. It's called Revelation font and well, Revelation script and it is sick. Go check it out. If not, buy it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you next week in a bit.